Hey everyone, it's Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law coming to you today with another one of our videos in our series where we respond to questions and comments we get from viewers. Today, the questions and comments came in response to our video about dynamic discs being acquired by House of Discs, heavily backed by an investment firm called Vendis Capital. Brian Smigelski wrote this. They did a bunch of research and realized that disc golf is growing rapidly with or without them, meaning we don't need them. And the them I think he's referring to here is Vendus Capital, this outside investment group. They're coming in to extract resources from the disc golf community. They're investing to get more back than they give. Isn't consolidation a kind of monopolization? What impact might this have on player sponsorships slash pay as competition between brands is minimized? And then Mark Ash wrote, when the owners of companies are simply investment firms, instead of people who actually do what they're selling, you're basically talking about flippers. They just have enough money. What they flip are companies instead of cars or houses. Flippers have ruined every industry they've touched. So first question, can consolidation eventually lead to the threat of a monopoly? Technically, the answer is yes, although that is extremely rare. Keep in mind, a monopoly is a market structure that consists of only one seller or producer, and we are a long way from that. What impact might this have on player compensation? Well, asking what impact huge infusions of cash from outside investors might have on player compensation, I would be willing to bet overall it would have a significantly positive effect. Rather than extracting resources from disc golf, I think it's more accurate to say that investment provides a much needed infusion of resources. Keep in mind what investors do. They inject cash into a business with the hope and expectation of making the business profitable so that they can eventually enjoy a return on their investment. It's well documented. I don't think this is any secret. The majority of businesses fail. The failure rate for new businesses is extremely high. Investors putting their money into an enterprise is an extremely risky endeavor. Expecting a return on your investment, there's nothing wrong or bad or improper about that. Nearly every successful business that exists, whether in sports or consumer products or restaurants or media companies or what have you, almost without exception, they took money from investors and used it to build a profitable business. There are tons of examples of this in professional sports. Wanting the various companies in disc golf and disc golf as a sport overall to become sustainable and profitable is precisely what we should all want to ensure the future of the sport we love. Am I off base here? Do you agree with Brian and, and Mark or do you agree with me that attracting the interest of investment firms is going to ruin disc golf? I'm willing to listen. Let me know in the comments. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.